need to prepare yourselves. Barry? You're home. Bring the flash. I need you a new suit. May I take it for a spin? What is good YouTube, Watch you here with a video on the latest The Flash Season 4 promo tease trailer called Hero Reborn. That is what they're calling it. It's a 20 second clip. I would have played it before this video. So the trailer is basically to show the audience some context, clear up some scenes from the other trailer. But remember, the trailers are misleading until the actual episodes have air. The idea of a trailer is to show a highlight reel of the best parts and hype you up for the episodes so you actually watch it so let's get into this breakdown so the trailer begins with a scene of a truck traveling on the road the camera pans over it and we see the flash's lightning for the first time the flash has a collision with the truck i'm presuming it's the flash then we see the person with a bunch of apples around his feet we see the speed force pulsing around him so we can presume that it is barry allen but on the record, I'm going to say 99%, I think it's Barry Allen. We see Cecile for the first time in a while, telling Joe, Iris, Wally West and Cisco, you need to prepare yourself. So I presume Barry is going to be lost. So Iris sees her fiancé for the first time since the season finale, where he told her to keep running and never stop running, where he sacrificed himself and went into the Speed Force to save Central City. This will be such an emotional episode for the couple in many ways ways iris west says to him barry you're home which it's going to be a cool scene this makes sense because in the first scene barry allen being naked the people in the truck would have most likely called the police hence why he ends up at ctpd and cecile joe west's girlfriend has him instead of going to iris west because he doesn't know who he is the only thing here is how will the showrunners explain where barry allen's been for six months and how he turned up in the middle of nowhere naked seeing as he's supposed to be the csi for the ccpd so barry looks broken we know this already from an interview i think it was during comic con with grant gustin where he explained that we're not really going to see much of barry allen inside the speed force we're just going to see the ramifications that throughout the whole season and it also went on to say that barry allen would have lived his life infinity times because time inside the speed force is linear so it does make sense that barry allen would be broken i mean I'm taking it from the clip that he doesn't even know who he is. Although I did think they would play on Iris West being his lightning rod and the fact that they will always find each other. The next scene that we see is the samurai that says, bring me the flash. The samurai takes Iris West up into the air. So they are respecting the comic book mythology. Obviously the flying samurai, obviously they're called samurai in the comic books. And obviously there's multiple amounts of these, but obviously this is a TV show, a limited budget. So it's pretty cool that it's kind of the drama is focused around Iris West again, seeing as she is the most important person to Barry Allen. And that is most likely what would spark him to remember who Iris is to him. Barry gets some tests on him, most likely it would have been at Star Labs because if, if they took him to a normal hospital, it would have been a bit weird and they might have found out who he is. So we see that Barry does have a beard in this scene, which is pretty interesting. I'm glad they kept this a secret. Obviously, these scenes would have been done inside the TV studios rather than being done outside in the open. And then you get, obviously, the beat behind the scenes. People ruin it. So Cisco says, I made you a suit, proving that he didn't manifest it within the Speed Force, which is kind of interesting. I know people will most likely not like this because they would have afforded barry to come out of speed force and manifest the speed force the new suit out of the speed force but we did see in the first scene that whoever this is it most likely will barry will be naked so it's pretty cool that we've got clarification of where the suit came from and cisco's like want to take it for a spin the best scene in the trailer is when barry starts writing lots of uh, equations on the board we even see lightning in his eyes it reminds me of Savitar and future flash kind of because his hair looks long but 
What's interesting is in this scene, he doesn't have a beard, but it's supposed to be from the first episode. So like I said, guys, the trailers are misleading. We don't even know if this scene's actually going to be from episode one because these are tease scenes and it's misleading. It could even be some scene from the Speed Force. Me personally, I would be shocked if we don't get at least one scene from his time inside the Speed Force. Barry smashes through the prison within Star Labs, which causes an explosion. We can see this in the trailer and we see that Joe is on the floor. Now, this is very interesting because this shows us either one of two things, how powerful Barry Allen of The Flash has got or how fast he's potentially going to be. Because remember, guys, Ebar Thorne was in themselves multiple times and he never attempted to get out once. We've seen many of people attempt to get out of themselves. In other seasons, when Barry Allen's been locked up in there, he couldn't get out even after trying. So this does give us a cheeky wink from behind the camera that Barry Allen is going to be getting a lot stronger, which is going to be interesting because let's go back to the actual Barry Allen writing them equations on the wall. So obviously he's in some kind of speed force trance. He's going to have like a lot more knowledge because he would have lived his life multiple times as said during that interview so he's going to be a lot smarter and wiser he just needs someone like cisco to decipher these equations because these equations are not going to be shown for no reason these equations are going to be something he would have seen the future he would have seen everything he's going to have infinity brain power but he won't be able to use it because he's obviously being stuck in the speed force stuck in some kind of trance and a pretty cool scene is where cisco says the flash is back and you notice behind him that the current flash suit is in the background so at this point wally west hasn't put on the suit and hasn't pretended to be the flash and it hasn't been ripped up like we've seen in behind the scenes footage so it's quite interesting interesting because like i said guys this is a 30 second trailer so we don't know what part is what what part is what part of the trailer and we don't even know if this is actually from episode one it could even be a glimpse of episode two barry is running out of control he can't handle his speed as we see him bouncing around star labs like a nutter and we also see he smashes outside of the prison which is kind of interesting so i'm really interested to see how much faster barry allen will actually be when he gets out of the speed well not sorry out of the kind of prison that they put him in to kind of contain him as i think barry doesn't know who he is but what's really interesting is right at the end we got a wonder woman like song right after the credit not credit right after the trailer ends we get the new flash logo it's all pure red and we get the wonder woman type music let me know guys in the comment box down below do you think it's actually the wonder woman music for me it sounds slightly like music played during the wonder woman and i think it's fantastic that we're getting a new flash logo which is pretty cool as it is called the flash reborn which is basically an easter egg comic book reference to the flash rebirth in the comics so it would make sense that they change the flash logo and make it actually red for once so i'm really looking forward to the flash season four after this trailer this trailer really does give us an insight into what we can expect for the flash season four because let's be honest guys before this trailer everything was stale do you notice that we didn't get any caitlin snow in this trailer let me know guys in the comment box below did we get caitlin snow in the trailer i believe there's only one clip of caitlin where she just looks her normal self she doesn't look like the actual clip where we actually seen in the comic con trailer and this just kind of mixed and match parts from all the trailers and we have got clarification of some scenes now let me know guys in the comment box below what is your favorite scene from this i really did like the opening scene where he collided with the truck and he was naked and the fact that he's not coming out knowing who he is so it's going to have context he's actually going to have ramifications from being inside the speed force because if you go back to season two in the kevin smith episode where he was in the speed force he spoke to his mum, he realized everything that uh that running away with the dinosaurs episode he there wasn't really any ramifications of being inside the speed force and also when kid flash was in the speed force because savitar tricked him he was in the speed force and there was no ramifications though except for when he was in there it looks like we're finally going to get to see the ramifications of what being inside the speed force actually 
does to a person and Barry Allen's going to come out such a different kind of person he's going to be wiser smarter more intelligent apparently funnier more like a flash season one in terms of jokes and, and cracking jokes and being wiser but he's also going to be more mature because they need to give him some character development throughout like uh, th the flash season three Barry Allen didn't really get much character development except for realizing that everything happened because he created Flashpoint. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the ramifications of being inside the Speed Force. But I really hope we actually do get some Speed Force ramifications that play out throughout the whole season and don't just fizzle out from the first couple of episodes. Anyway, guys, this has been a review from the Reborn trailer i guess you could call it hero reborn let me know in the comments down below guys did i miss anything i try to be as in detail as detailed as possible which i will be doing from now on i'm trying to be more in details more thorough in my videos so anyway guys please like subscribe and comment as that will help the channel grow and it'll be awesome for me but if you don't want to that's cool and maybe join the notification squad by hitting that bell button down below and i will catch you soon guys in another video catch you later